Hi everyone, it's Chris Tuck here. I am speaking about the letter A for Adverse Childhood Experiences for the Invisible Boy and Invisible Girl campaign. Now, when you are growing up in an abusive household on a day-to-day basis, you do not know anything different unless you are told or unless you see that things can be different to how you are being brought up. So when you are told that you are stupid, you're thick, you're not worthy, you're unloved, you're ugly, um, and this is being backed up by being hit, being um, not fed, being neglected, being um, kicked out of the house for hours and hours on end, um, it reinforces the verbal messages that you're being given. And then on top of that, when you suffer sexual abuse, that adds another layer of shame and guilt for and confusion, I think, and confusion. It it all adds deeper and deeper layers to how you think and feel as a child. Um... When you are being abused on a daily basis, your trust is damaged, you don't know about boundaries, your ability to make good, stable relationships is eroded, you are fearful of anything and everything and everyone. It truly damages your mental and your physical health the chronic stress that you hold on to um, because of everything that you're going through on a day-to-day basis. And you only know that things should be different if you are aware of what's going on, if you are told that what you're going through isn't right. And I knew that what we were going through was not right when I saw for myself how other children were being brought up, i.e. like my friends, when I went round my friends' houses, and I saw that life could be very different. And I knew that what we were going through um, was purely not right. So it's really, really important that we get an education outside of the family home about healthy relationships, about consent, about boundaries about um, what is mine and what shouldn't be touched is so important all of this education does need to be age appropriate but there is no excuse it's every child's right human right to have this education and when you are an abused and neglected child As I've said, your mental and your physical health is impacted and the chronic stress that you hold on to can cause ill health in later life and many survivors, adult survivors, have ill health, mental and physical ill health later on in life. Now, the ACE studies, the Adverse Childhood Experiences, the study actually says there are 10 types of childhood trauma measured in the ACE study. Five are personal, physical abuse, verbal abuse, sexual abuse, physical neglect and emotional neglect. Five are related to other family members, a parent who is an alcoholic, a mother who is a victim of domestic violence, a family member who is in jail, a family member diagnosed with a mental illness, the disappearance of a parent through divorce, death or abandonment. Each type of trauma counts as one. There are other types of trauma, like watching a sibling go through abuse, losing a caregiver, homelessness, surviving and recovering from a severe accident or illness. 
that the study is based on those 10 things that I've said to you because they were um, deduced to be the most common. Now, the study researchers came up with the A-score to explain a person's risk of chronic disease. So if we know what our A-score is, and it is only a guideline, but if we know what our score is, we know that later on in life, we have the potential to suffer from chronic illnesses that other people that have gone through a normal, loving, caring, respectful upbringing will not have to face. So if we are aware of this, we can take control and we can take action as part of our recovery to minimise these health, adverse health consequences of going through the abuse that we have to reduce the impact of the trauma that we have suffered. So guys, do yourselves a favour, download the ACE questionnaire, see what your ACE score is and then take action today or tomorrow to get your health back on track because you deserve it and you need it. If you want to live a happier and healthier life, we have to take responsibility for our health and our wellness going forwards. We shouldn't be letting the abusers take more from us than what they've already taken. So please take back some control and some of the power. Look at where you are now in your life. Work out what it is you want from your life and go after it because you deserve love, you deserve respect, you deserve dignity. You deserve a happy, healthy relationship. You deserve the career that you want. You deserve anything from life. Go and get it, guys. Thank you.